Good morning, Warriors, and happy Tuesday to you. Reminder of our mission here at Washington. Washington is a supportive community committed to all students' academic and personal growth to ensure they enter adulthood with success. And we are here to create empowered learners. I want to remind you of the Warrior Walkthrough next Monday night at, let's see, 6 o'clock p.m. And that is for your parents. So please encourage parents to come out and attend. We are going to have a representative from Workplace Learning Connection to talk about job shadows um, for 10th, 11th, and 12th graders, and also somebody from our district office to help parents with Infinite Campus. I just want to bring up very quickly something that was disappointing yesterday. We had some students that made uh, some poor decisions in terms of how to manage conflict. Um, at Washington High School, we are about supporting one another. If you have a friend or a student that is having problems or in a conflict, uh, please talk with them about speaking with an adult in the building to be able to assist with that. Um, when students engage in uh, aggressive behavior, there are serious consequences for that. And that is not how we want to do things. That is not being an empowered learner. So please support one another and uh, demonstrate that warrior pride every day. Uh, we've got some exciting news coming up. I see that Mr. Nell is uh, firing up some Ultimate Frisbee starting next Tuesday. That is awesome stuff. For those of you that have not played Ultimate Frisbee, check it out. It is a great activity. Also, I see that the Steppers are looking for some recruits. So uh, if you think you might be interested, give it a try. Attend the tryouts. Good morning, Warriors. Today is Tuesday, September 10th, and these are your morning announcements. Today is an A day. The sign up sheet is available from Ms. Sells in the main office if you need a student ID printed with an activity pass or your ID needs to be reprinted. See her in the main office. There will be an ultimate Frisbee pickup game on the front lawn on Tuesdays starting 917 from 315 to 415. See Mr. Nell in room 240 if you're interested. <clears throat> Guest registration forms for homecoming can also be picked up from Ms. Sells in the main office. They are due no later than Thursday, September 19th. Any student with the, uh, in need of homecoming attire, please see Ms. Rouse in room 112. Uh, 10th, 11th, and 12th grade students, please, if you're interested in a job shadow, Workplace Learning Job Center, please see Ms. Mangrich in room 151A or Ms. Wasp in the counseling office. AP courses, as you know by now, the uh, exams you have to have by October 25th as far as registration. The deadline to register is October 25th. WHS Steppers, if you haven't heard, they're recruiting Tuesday, September 10th and Wednesday, September 11th in room 233. Adastra is sponsoring a blood drive on the September 19th in the auditorium. That's a Thursday. Donation times begin at 8.30 to 12.30. Sign up to donate outside of Mr. Hilton's room. College visits coming up. Today at Creighton University. I happen to have someone close to me going to Creighton as a freshman this year. It's a very, very uh, great opportunity. If you're interested at all in Creighton, you want to be there at 12.30 in the counseling office. Tomorrow we have Grinnell College at 8 a.m., University of St. Thomas at 11.30, Wisconsin-Eau Claire at 2.15, uh, then Iowa State University and several others, other colleges. Excuse me, can't talk this morning. Uh, view the scrolling announcements in the cafeteria or hallway TVs to see what other upcoming colleges we have or stop in the, college, or in the counseling office. Hello, um, Take Charge is hosting our event this weekend. It is our tie-dye event. So if you remember, we're selling t-shirts, but you can also bring your own. It's going to be a ton of fun. It's going to be held in the courtyard from 1 to 3 p.m. So please come and learn how to tie-dye and learn a little bit more about Take Charge. Thanks. Hi, I'm Weston DeWolf, sophomore class president, and we need your help. We need you to submit your ideas for this year's homecoming flu. The list where you can post these suggestions is outside of Mr. Dewar's room, room 232. The top ideas will be voted on, and one will win our spot in this year's float. Thank you. Interacting in the courtyard auditions will be this Thursday after school. Please sign up outside room 128. It'll be a talent show, and it'll be really fun. Admission will be three cans of non-perishable food. Donations will go to the, the Lynn Community Food Bank. So don't forget to sign up, and don't forget to sign up to audition 
outside of room 128. Today's events, we have Boys Varsity Golf Invitational at Gardner Golf Course at 9.30 this morning. We have volleyball tonight against Iowa City High at Iowa City High. The sophomore JV matches are at 5.30. The varsity matches at 7. Then we have girls swimming and diving uh, junior varsity and varsity against Jefferson here at Washington at 6 p.m. Happy birthday today to Zoe Canfield, uh, Miranda Margaret. And yesterday we missed birthdays for Delaney Barfels, uh, Adeline LaHoe, Jack Meyer Boothby, and Dion Harrison. Sorry if I didn't get any of those exactly the way they were supposed to be. Updates on Chromebooks. Thank you again for your patience. Uh, we've had some confusion as to why people don't have Chromebooks. Well, data-driven lists are often incorrect and maybe your name wasn't on the list that I got and the issue devices back on August 9th didn't have everybody that has joined WASH or left WASH up to this point since that time. Basically we were working through these lists and getting devices out. I handed out many yesterday. Please bear with me. I'm trying to get those out today and tomorrow. Please don't come up in the mornings in order to get your devices as we have announcements taping. So. Uh, I will be getting in touch with you when I have you an issued device or please see me after school or during lunch and I will get your devices as fast as possible. All students will get their devices hopefully all this week, that is the plan, but devices are something that uh, we are working through as far as taking out of the system and putting any new students into the system. Anybody here enrolled at WASH will be getting their device as long as they have a signed waiver. Please hold on to your waivers so if you're called to my office or uh, to the IMC in order to pick up a device, have that waiver with you in order to get your device. If you've already turned in the waiver, I have those waivers here. Thank you very much and it's always a great day to be a warrior.